Sports presents Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Another good episode of Benning Bites. We appreciate you. Thanks for being a part of what we do. Uh, you can get us on Apple, Google, Spotify, Google, uh, YouTube TV. Hopefully you do YouTube TV in case we get those hard outs. And even if you can carry the YouTube TV around, maybe on the phone, if you're not stationary or in the car, getting us at 590 um, or KFOR in Lincoln after 9 o'clock. Yeah, we're just trying to be versatile. Uh, but man, lot busy, busy day yesterday. First day of spring ball. The media throng was in uh, full throttle. Man, it's pretty cool, man. Fortunate to have so many good folks that cover uh, Nebraska football in attendance. Hopefully, <laughs> Nebraska's new staff can appreciate that. But a lot of good guys and gals out there uh, trying to provide information, and you get it pretty easy um, with Coach Rule. He is extremely forthright, and uh, he'll kind of let you know, which is what I think is going to ultimately help serve this team well. He's changed just about everything, Uh, and not just for the sake of change, but when I say that, I mean change things towards or in a direction that he thinks have worked well where he's been, and it's been kind of hard line, so... I think accountability is a good thing. I think I think transparency is a good thing. He let you know about a couple of guys that have left the program, a couple of guys that uh, won't be practicing until further notice, which is kind of weird, or not weird. It's different um, for what we've been accustomed to. Uh, I think in terms of the the information that we give, sometimes we guess and. We're not very um, patient, right? We kind of speculate, which is, gosh, some of it is the job and kind of what it entails. So it's kind of cool to not have that be a thing in terms of what you're dealing with. Like, he just put it right out there. I was like, wow, that cat's out of the bag early. I didn't think we would hear that. But right away and in, in his initial comments, and, and I think – it's weird. Remember I talked about he's a really quick processor. I think he knew. He went through four running backs, I think. Um, got the four and hadn't mentioned Anthony Grant. And before he said, hey, um, before you ask me, let me tell you guys what's going on. Because I think as we were listening, I was like, wow, I hadn't mentioned Anthony Grant yet. We, we talked about Irvin and Allen and... And, I mean, we went down the line. Ramir, we got to four guys. And so I think his – it's just more that he can process on the fly. And I think it's it's interesting. I hope it means wins. But one thing – well, there's a couple things I like. Um, You know, I'm a big consistency of message guy. And I, I think he's got consistency of the message. And the other thing is, I've gosh, I this was kind of been the number one on my wish list for whoever was going, whomever was going to be at the helm at Nebraska. He has complete confidence in himself there, and if he does have insecurities, I'm sure he does because he's human. So I won't put him there, but he doesn't come across as as someone that is insecure about who they are or what their role is, right? If if he's out with his family, I think he's going to be out with his family. If he wants to go have a, a ginger ale or a Bud Light, he's going to go have a ginger ale or a Bud Light. If people want to take pictures, they can take pictures. Like, I just think he's he's just so secure in what he does. He's not going to be hyper-paranoid about the things that he can't control. And I ultimately think... That, along with kind of being a grinder, it's it's really what this job entails. Now, you, you, you've got to develop, and obviously you need good players, so that's, that's part of it. But if you're looking for a couple of the key building blocks, hard to argue that he's not exuding them. Um, and uh, look for a lot of reasons 
to kind of scrutinize or at least just not consume whatever's being told. So I think we've got a pretty good colander or strainer in the media just to kind of sift through the information. And if nothing else, he is ridiculously honest and pretty authentic. And uh, I think we do know that he loves football and likes to work hard. So we're hitting some of those key benchmarks. Make sure uh, you stay with us. Um, we'll try to give you the best coverage we can. Uh, give my partner Andrew Rogers a follow, follow at Andrew Rogers TV. Uh, remember, you, however you get us, uh, make sure you Google it and, and be a part of what we're doing. It's another episode of Benning Bites.